At the ground, we use regenerative farming practices. And I'd like to describe a few of the principles about regenerative agriculture and describe how that fits into how we run the market garden. The first is to not disturb the soil or to disturb the soil as minimally as possible. And that's because there's a whole network of, of fungi and microbes and other things in the soil that help to create the fertility for our plants. And the more we disturb that soil, the more we disturb those networks. In industrial agriculture, that's a big part of why they've become so reliant on outside chemical fertilizers is that they've destroyed a lot of those networks of, of microbes and fungi. So our approach is to till as minimally as possible and to try to create what we call permabeds in which we are only lightly disturbing about the top two to four inches of the soil to be able to create space for our seeds and plants to grow, but that we're leaving the larger structure intact so that those microbes and fungi will be there to help generate fertility for our crops. The second principle is to keep the soil covered. The idea being that heavy rain can cause compaction, wind can blow the soil away, and can also cause runoff into our streams and water systems. So we're trying to keep our soil covered as much as possible, and that means in the winter when we're not growing crops in a bed, that we're using cover crops so that those roots will help keep the soil intact and that we're keeping a vegetative cover over our soil so that heavy rains aren't causing compaction and, and washing our soil away. And then during the growing season that switches and we're growing crops that will be harvested. And so the idea is that as soon as we harvest a crop, we either plant another crop that we will harvest or switch to a cover crop so that we maintain constant cover over our soil. The cover crops that we mostly use at the ground, we plant in the fall to cover the soil for the winter, and that tends to be an annual ryegrass, and rye is great because it gets a really, really large and deep root structure, which helps to keep our soil intact. Along with rye, we also tend to use some type of legume. Uh, we've used vetch or Austrian peas, and the cool thing about legumes is they're able to take nitrogen from the air and fix it into little nitrogen nodules on their roots. And so when we go to work that back into the soil, it's a free and natural source of nitrogen that will supply nutrients for our plants the following growing season. And with cover crops, uh, they're, they're great and awesome over the winter, but they also require careful management to keep them from going to seed or getting too out of control. So we've used our cattle to run through and to sort of chew down all of that growth and recycle some of those nutrients. The third principle of regenerative farming really ties into the second one I was talking about, and that's keeping living roots in the soil. And that's mostly because those roots are what's feeding the bacteria, really, and the fungi that are then feeding the prozoda, the amphipods, and the other um, insects up the food chain. And so having living roots in the soil creates a food source and helps to fuel the engine of soil fertility. The fourth principle is growing a diverse range of crops. Monoculture does not exist in nature, and a big reason why industrial agriculture requires so many inputs of fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides is because we're not mimicking nature. And so what we're trying to do in the garden is to grow a diverse array of crops and to rotate them through the garden so we're never growing the same crop in the same place. And we've also added hedgerows, edible hedgerows, to the garden with fruit trees and edible shrubs and um, some other forbs or broadleaf plants that will help to attract pollinators, beneficial insects, birds. And we're trying to mimic nature in a way so that our crops grow well and we get the assistance from nature to help control of 
pests and our fertility. The fifth principle is to bring grazing animals into the land. And that can be a little tricky in a market garden to keep animals where you want them and not in the plants that you intend to harvest. What we did this year was we brought the cattle through our cover crop in the spring before planting. And so again, we're recycling nutrients. Um, the cows are doing the job of mowing for us and recycling those nutrients from the cover crop.